So June 9th, there's a very important event taking place, and it is called the African Harvest, and it's taking place at Moore Farm Estate in Gatineau. Uh, right now, we have Kevin Perkins with us. He's the executive director at Farm Radio International. Kevin, good to have you on the show. Thanks, Dylan. Good to be here. Welcome. Thank well, okay, you. Farm Radio. Okay, now what is this all about? Well, Farm Radio International is a Canadian uh, charity that's been coming around to 40 years uh, old now. Hmm. And, and what we do is uh, work with African communities, rural communities, uh, help them uh, improve their food security and production through the power of radio. So we work with African radio stations and help them uh, produce uh, radio programs about agriculture and health and other rural development issues. Wow. Uh, we reach uh, work with 700 different radio stations in 40 countries. And every week, about 30 million African farmers tune in to shows that uh, were produced with our help. That's incredible. Okay. Mm. So 40 years ago then, uh, who who, who created this? It was founded by a Canadian farm broadcaster, a man named George Atkins. He was traveling in Africa and realized that there was a real need for radio programs that would address the needs of small-scale farmers. Okay. How many did you say tune in on a weekly basis? 20 to 30 million. That's pretty good. Yeah, not bad. That's pretty yeah, decent. Yeah, good, good reach. Good <laughs> Congratulations. Reach. Being yeah. in the world of radio, I understand that that is a lot of listeners. So mm -hmm. that's, that's some good programming. Okay, so... Now, you're based out of Ottawa as well. There, there's yes. a location in Ottawa. Mm -hmm. Where are you physically based? Our office is uh, on Scott Street, 1404 Scott Street in Ottawa. We share a building with the World University Service of Canada. It's near okay. Tunney's Pasture. Mm -hmm. Okay, so perhaps you can give us some examples of what you do. What's the first one? You've got a couple of good examples. Yeah, well, one thing that we'll do is uh, for, for some listeners uh, or some real people, they, they enjoy listening in groups. When they're with a group of their peers, they can listen together, uh, talk about what they've heard, and also record their own uh, conversations and share them back with the radio station. So sometimes we'll encourage a group to, to form and listen, uh, and, and then this uh, will help them uh, have, have a wind-up radio like this. doesn't need batteries, mm -hmm. and it's nice and loud, and also records their own voices. So... They can use it to listen as a group, record their own comments, and send them back to the station. It's very interesting yeah. how people can do that. Yeah. Okay, and then also you have on-air on cooking shows, rather? Sure. So, well, yeah, go ahead. I'm just curious how they obviously they benefit the, the people of Africa. Yeah, well, there's more and more uh, food varieties being uh, introduced that have maybe higher in protein or more vitamin A or more, more nutrients. So uh, as a way to share recipes and, and ways of introducing these more nutritious uh, foods into the traditional African uh, dishes, uh, we, we we organize cooking shows and usually they involve hosts uh, like you visiting a family in a rural community and recording them while they cook the meal and, and keeping track of the recipe. Okay. People uh, love the shows and when they're done they can get the recipe on their sent to their phone by, by SMS. Okay, so we have some amazing people here listening to some uh, farm radio shows. That's what's happening right here? Yes, this is one of the listening groups receiving one of the wind-up radios and they're going to uh, listen together and they, and they learn as a group and, and apply what they're hearing on the radio. Okay. Now, how can Canadian broadcasters be a part of this? Well, Canadian broadcasters have helped us with, uh, with some training. Uh, we, we developed training resources, how-to guides, and online training courses. So quite a few broadcasters have helped us in coaching and training in that way, and also uh, just spreading the word about what we do, and mm -hmm. uh, those are two ways. But I'm wondering where you get your hosts from for all these various oh, shows that you put together. The, the, the hosts are African broadcasters that work okay. at those so radio stations. Yes, but we help with the training of them to increase their skills in doing good programs for farmers. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so the African Harvest event, it's coming on June 9th, and it's Saturday. Saturday. It's going to yep. be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. So first of all, can you tell us the exact location? In yeah, it's in the, in the Moore Farm Estate. Okay. Uh, it's just uh, just to the east of uh, Champlain Bridge when you get into uh, Quebec. It's on the north side of the uh, the road. Okay, and there's plenty yeah. of space. That's Lots what I'm of space, to... beautiful barn. It's actually a lovely uh, venue. Not only is there a nice barn, but there's gardens that you can tour, and uh, okay. it can be a great, a great venue. So when I hear the word harvest, I'm automatically thinking there's going to be lots of food included. True. It's a possibility? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're having uh, Ethiopian food yeah. uh, featured, uh, prepared by local uh, Blue Nile restaurant. Uh, so a lot of people have, if they haven't tried Ethiopian food, they're sure to like it. And mm -hmm. those that have tried it uh, want more usually. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. run us down the, the events throughout the course of the day. What, what time does it all get underway? Well, it's an evening event. Um, so just come in the early evening and uh, there will be uh, a meal. There will be live music. Uh, Wise Atangana is going to be performing. He's a Cameroonian musician who's relocated to Ottawa. So he'll be performing. It'll be a silent auction. Um, and just a good Good, good evening with uh, with friends and mm -hmm. 
and learn more about our work too. Okay, so, so that's what the primary focus is here for this event, obviously, to, to raise awareness towards what you're doing. Are you hoping to raise funds as well? Also, yeah, the, the, uh, we're selling tickets for the dinner. Mm -hmm. uh, there's an early bird uh, price to May 16th of uh, $85 for a ticket, so certainly we, we hope to raise money to support our work as well as raising awareness. Okay, mm -hmm. so how much money do you need? I mean, you don't have to put a price tag on it, but obviously you need some cash to keep this going. Mm -hmm. So that's very important. Yeah. Okay. Uh, for the event or, or for no, Farm just Radio? No, in general, gen to keep Farm Radio going. Yeah, well, we have an annual budget of about $6 million. Uh, a lot of that money comes from different uh, funding agencies and throughout the world. But uh, about a million dollars a year we count on from the Canadian public to, uh, to help us deliver our, to keep it going. our goals. Yeah. Impressive. Okay, so now if people can't make this event, I mean, are you always looking for people to volunteer their time to be mm -hmm. part of this mm -hmm. great organization? Sure, we have uh, volunteer work to be done here in Ottawa, and occasionally we'll have volunteer opportunities uh, overseas as well. Really? So so people can actually come, go from Ottawa to overseas we, to be a part of this? It's not a major part of our work, but it, but it, it can happen and has happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that actually yeah. sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, it is. You could broadcast yeah. overseas. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so it all gets underway. It's an evening event, as you mentioned, mm -hmm. dinner, food food, uh, entertainment. There will be a special cocktail made for the evening. Uh, there will be a, a live entertainment and, and recorded music as well, African music, mm -hmm. as well as um, yeah, really exciting silent auction. Yeah. It, it'll be, it's really a fantastic event. It sounds like a lot of fun. I know mm -hmm. farmradio.org is the best place to go to to find out about, about this event, future events, curling events coming up yes. in the fall as well. Yes, which we is have fun. annual. Yeah. Always got something going on. Uh, once right. again, farmradio.org. Kevin mm -hmm. Perkins, thank you very much for being here today. Thank you, Don. It's a pleasure. to your amazing event. Thanks so much. We've got more daytime coming up in moments right here on Rogers TV.